speaking about the benefits of staying invested. Vijay, so suppose yours. you look at this fund, say 2008, uh, in the beginning of 2008, suppose you invested in this fund, this fund has delivered 34% negative return in year 2008. But by 2009 end, the CAGR become 20%. So one lakh invested after one year has become say 66 lakh. But after two years, it become one lakh 45,000 perhaps. And then after three years, again 19%. Then year four, the return came down because in that particular year, the return was negative. So after five year, 10%. And after 10 year, uh, around uh, 13, 14%. And 11 year, 13.77%. So if you invested in 2008, this is what has happened. If you look at year 2009, if you invested in the beginning of 2009, 2009 was a blockbuster year where the funds NAV doubled in a one year time. So you got 114% return uh, after two years, 60%, three years. And if you look at 10 year, around 20% return CAGR. If you look at 2011, suppose you invested in the beginning of 2011, the fund delivered 7% negative return. If you invested in the beginning of 2015, the fund delivered 12% negative return. So if you look at uh, these 10, 11 years, what you'll figure out that out of these 10, 11 years, one, two, three, this fund in a one year time has delivered negative return. And in one year, the return has been around 4%. In one great year, this fund has delivered 114%. So whenever you look at investing in equities, you should be mindful that these kind of return will be there in the portfolio. If you look at, for instance, two year time, so if you look at last 10, 11 years, uh, if you invest it for minimum period of two years, then the worst this fund has delivered is 2% negative, and the best this fund has delivered is 60% annualized return. And if you look at three years time period, then twice this fund has delivered less than 8% return, or perhaps three times this fund has delivered less than 8% return. But beyond that, if you look at five year plus, then the worst return this fund has delivered in last 10, 11 year is 8%. But this 8% journey has come through this route. So it is very important whenever investors look at investing in the fund, equity will continue to deliver best investment performance, but be mindful that the journey and nobody, no financial advisor, no financial expert can avoid this for any investor. Yeah, I think um, um, the one takeaway from, 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 I mean, that I have via this as well, that actually two or three key takeaways, uh, and Vijay, please correct me if I'm wrong here, but if, for example, invested for a period of two years, staying invested means staying invested for a long period of time, but you invested for two years, then the worst possible return was minus 2%. The number of years that went up, your minimum return from one fund actually kept on moving up. Yes. One, that shows the benefit of staying invested. And two, I, I reckon if you just look at this example, that you started off with a negative return, 33%, 7%, or 12%, your one-year returns would have been negative, your two-year returns may have improved, but essentially, if you stayed invested with this 33% downtick as well, your eventual return over 11 years was a healthy 14%. Absolutely. So if you stay invested, there's a very high probability uh, that you would recover even if you had timed the market wrong, and usually uh, nobody can time the market. Nobody can time the market. People do time the market. but Try they, to. But they, no, they, they do time the market, but it's always the other way around. <laughs> they come when the market is rising. So most of the money came in 2008. Then we have seen huge money came in 2017, and we saw the result of 2017 as well. So large chunk of money comes when the markets are rising. For instance, in 2014, lots of money came because uh, Modi government came in 2014, but 2015 was, was a negative year return. But if you look at this fund, this fund has the worst five year return in this fund has been 5%. But if you invested, instead invested in the fund for seven or 10 years, that the fund made huge return. Even after going this, through these numbers, and we'll show more slide, I'm not sure investor appreciate and understand and absorbs what has been communicated. Uh, when people look at these returns, they say, okay, fine, I'm fine with 10%, 20%, 30% volatility. But actually, when the day of volatility comes, then people get very nervous. So at that time, you need lots of hand-holding. Uh, I keep saying in the business of financial advisory, uh, the return is generated by the market. In an eight-year period, return comes in three years. The job of financial advice is to hold investor for balance five years.